Y'all, welcome to this week's episode of Content Creation Made Easy. Today, I'm bringing you some relief because one of the things I hear from people all the time when it comes to content and marketing is, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm not techie. I don't know how to take care of these like stupid things that I'm not good at. And like, that's why we have assistants. But a lot of times I hear content creators say to me, but I can't afford an assistant or I don't know how to go about getting an assistant. And so that is why today I have brought you Tyreen Taylor. Tyreen is from Wise Walk Virtual Solutions. And we are going to break down all things assistance, what you can expect, what questions you should ask, how you can get the help and support that you need without being overwhelmed or feeling like you're drowning in a sea of you know, content and tech and all the administrivia, as I like to call it. So Tyrene, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about how you got into this work. Sure. So I always tell people I was kind of, I won't say, well, I will say forced or pushed into it. Um, <laughs> I was working in the federal government and I had a medical injury that um, forced me to have to resign. So with that happening, I was kind of stuck, you know, I didn't know what to do. And it was like the jobs that I could do were very limited because of my injury. And I had to do something that was from home. And that was something that I could do on my time. And when I felt up to it. So I thought of this. Um, and then it honestly started as me as the VA. And I did that for a while. And then I realized more clients, you know, kept approaching, but I just, I couldn't take on more, you know, especially because of the injury and time, I just didn't have enough. Um, and then I said, maybe I could create a team. So I tried it. You know, I found a really good VA that was experienced. I found a client that was ready. And I'm just like, let me just try it. You know, I tried it once. It worked tried it twice. It worked. Then once I hit the third time, I realized, hey, I could actually make this a business. And that's how we are here today. I love this story. So was this before 2020? Yes. Wow. So you like got on board before 2020. Even yes. hit. So you were ready to go when 2020 came and everybody needed a virtual assistant. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So would you describe yourself? As, I know you have an agency of virtual assistants and executive assistants who work for you. Um, would you describe yourself as a matchmaker kind of? Yes, Jen, and I'm glad you said matchmaker because some people are like, are you a recruiter or staffing agency? And I'm like, you know, somewhat, yes, maybe a recruiter because we do recruit the VA for you. We take care of all of that. But I consider myself the matchmaker because we really take our time and pride ourselves on actually finding the right match for you mm -hmm. because all VAs and clients don't match. You know, know, each client is different. Each VA is different. So we really use like different tools and processes to match you with the perfect VA. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, I, I would imagine as somebody who's a little bit of a control freak myself, mm -hmm. how do you give up? control of hiring somebody like what what kind of um vetting do you do or what kind of process do you take your VAs through so that if somebody were to hire you they'd be like oh Tyree it's in Tyreen's hands and it's totally fine yes yes and I get it I'm the same way definitely <laughs> hard, hard to release control you know yeah. um so we put our VAs through a lot you know and I don't I won't say I feel bad because it's worth it, you know, to make they sure do. that the client is good and that we are getting quality VAs because that's what we advertise. Um, so the first step, honestly, is the really tedious job application. Like, I think the question is probably like a 20 question application. And for about 10 of those questions, they have to submit paragraph form. So that automatically eliminates half. You know, wow. most people are like, they click on it, they're interested. And then like, cause I'll post on different job boards, but you can apply there, but that's not the whole application. So you have to come back and do our private application that most people don't know about. And then that eliminates half of the people that aren't serious, that aren't experienced. And then the questions we ask, if you don't have any experience as a VA, you're not going to know most of the answers. So I can't tell you my secrets, Jen, but no, 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 I don't want to know some of the questions. <laughs> Look, some of them are so detailed and we ask for real life examples. You yeah. know how most job applications, you could probably look on Google and things like that, but not the questions we ask. And then from there, I actually conduct the interviews. Um, 
And same thing with the clients, because I need to know that person. I need to know their personality. I need to know, we even ask things like, what do you like? What are, what, what's a fun fact about yourself? You know, like we get that detail. And mm-hmm. then from there, they go through training and orientation. And then I always say, if you've made it through all of those steps, you're serious, you're experienced, and yeah. we can work with you from there. <laughs> I love that. One time I have to tell you this funny story. I just found this the other day. I had taken a screenshot of it and I was cleaning up my computer and I found this screenshot from when back in 2018, I think it was, I was looking for a virtual assistant and I had put out a very thorough job description and of exactly what I was looking for. And to apply, you had to like jump through X, Y, and Z hoops mm-hmm. to get even through there. And mm-hmm. I weeded out a lot of people. Cause I got this one person who said, um, I kind of like what you're into and I think I can help you, but like, I'm not going to do all this stuff. So if you want to hire me, I'm good at Adobe this, I'm good at that. Like he was good at all of these things that I didn't even need. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is, so this is why having a Tyrene would be so great because I'm already overwhelmed as an entrepreneur. I do not have a good amount of time to kind of sort through all of these applications. Mm-hmm. So that makes yeah. a ton of sense. You've kind of made your own special um, application and then onboarding process. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I love it. Um, so let's talk about, so I know you have VAs, which are virtual assistants for anybody out there who's not sure what that is and EAs, which are executive assistants. Mm-hmm. Um, can we talk about how specifically we can use VAs and EAs to make our content life a little bit easier or our marketing life a little bit easier? Yes, of course. So most of our solo entrepreneurs Aside from like email communication sometimes, but like social media management and content creation is typically the number one pain point that I hear when clients come on and sign on with WiseWalk. Um, And the way I explain it is all of our VAs are experienced in some type of marketing, but we actually have a set of VAs that just are experienced in marketing content creation. Um, And we're so blessed that we are getting awesome people that actually have had hands-on experience and outside of the VA world. Like they've actually worked in companies as a graphic designer, you know, as a marketing, you know, position, things like that. So it's amazing. You know, I just, Staffing is one of the hardest things. So like the fact that we have awesome VAs and I'm not just like, you know, boosting it up because it's it's us, you know, but they are really, really good. Um, but the way they can really help is by creating your content, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's up to you as the client. I always tell clients, you get in what you put in, you know? Mm-hmm. So if you have a little bit of time, and I say little because they are experienced, but all each person does things differently. So if you have a chance to really show them whatever the claim is. So like, if you're a client, Jen, I'll say the Jen way, like mm-hmm. show them your way, right? Once right. they catch on, they could take over, you know? That's, and yes. it takes a while sometimes. I say a week, unless you're like, hey, I want to like this, like this, like this. It may take two, but because they already come to the table with that experience, they yeah. just need to know your feel, your vibe, you know? And then they yeah. go from there, so- You know, I have found, I wonder if your clients find this too, with my virtual assistants, I've had them for so long and they're absolutely amazing. I couldn't do my business without them, Mm -hmm. but they learned my voice. So sometimes if I create something and they need to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, they Mm -hmm. can totally tweak it because they know me so well. Do your Mm -hmm. clients have the same experience? Yes. Yes. And I, and I love when that happened, which is why one of the reasons why we spend so much time on that matching process, because if you get that part right, the rest is easy and building that relationship and building that trust between the client and the VA. Like you said, once you get to that point with your VA, it's a game changer, like yeah. for your business and for your personal life, you'll get to the point where your VA is texting you, hey, don't forget it's your anniversary next week. <laughs> you know, it's like those little things. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Recently, my VA, Jessica said to me, look, every time you come back from a vacation, you do this thing, like you jump into something else and we need a better system for it. And I was like, damn, we totally do. Yeah. And, and I needed that kick in the ass because she yeah. knows my business so well. And sometimes we can't see our business clearly at all. You know, and I'm glad you said that, Jen, because what I'm learning too, a lot of our VAs are becoming thought partners for yeah. our clients, especially our solo entrepreneurs. Sometimes you don't have anyone else to talk to. You know, you may have a spouse or a friend, but they're not in the weeds with That's you. So you true. know, it so is you only. That, 
Yeah, it does. But you having that person to bounce ideas off, like one client actually hired, you know, us to find them a VA literally to be that thought partner, like to think uh-huh. things through. Like they well, don't like do strategic partnership. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I, you know, it's, I'm so, I'm so glad we're having this conversation and I'm really going to be transparent here. One mm-hmm. of my really weak points is asking for help, even though I have this amazing team mm-hmm. and when I came back from this vacation and they kicked me in the ass, they were both like, Hey, we can help you. Mm-hmm. We can see things ahead of time. So we had a strategic conversation and mm-hmm. we planned out the rest of my year together. And they were like, no, we don't want to do this in October. We want to do it in September. No, you don't want to have this person on then you want to have this person on here. And I was like, yes. how much have I been holding myself back by not having, using them as strategic thought, thought partners? Yes. I love completely, that. Completely, Jen, completely. Like I love when it happens. And then it just does something, you know, it's such a big, heavy weight that's lifted off your shoulders yeah. as a solo entrepreneur, because we already have so many things going on. You know, most of us have family, have young kids, things like that. You're trying to keep everything together. And yeah. that's when you have that person just right there, kind of on your shoulder, like, yeah. Hey, you know, I'm here. I can support you. I can help you. Yes. you dummy. Ask me for help. <laughs> um, so one of the big things I hear my clients Beyond the, I don't know how to hire somebody. Mm -hmm. The second thing I'll hear is I can't afford it. Mm. So can we talk about like, you don't have to hire a VA full time, right? No, that's the best part. One, they're virtual. So guess what? Half of your employee expenses, that's cut in half, Mm. maybe more than half. Cause you're not, you don't have to pay for office space. You don't have to pay for payroll tax. Like we take care of all of that. Literally you pay your monthly invoice. And that's it. So we offer affordable packages. Mm -hmm. We start at 20 hours a month. So that breaks down to almost an hour a day. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, especially with like the content creation, like those clients who need that, an hour a day is perfect. Like, you know, yeah, they plan their day. They go ahead and schedule the post out for a week in advance. And then an hour is done and your job is complete. Yeah. And that's it. I wonder if your clients find the same thing I found true, which I was scared. I was scared to hire a VA at first Mm because I'm like, oh my God, this takes me so long, but Mm -hmm. it doesn't take them long because they're experts at it. Exactly. Not only that too, Jen, what I've noticed, and I'm going to do more research on it so I can actually have facts. But what I've noticed is when you hire someone that's outside of, you know, where you work and things like that, your VA, let's just say they're set for two hours a day. They're giving you two solid, steady hours uninterrupted they're not in the office where someone's coming in and saying hey i'm here for an appointment and you have to stop what you're doing no they're giving you those set two hours every single day and i find that it's way more productive you get more you know i won't downplay an eight hour day but you get more with less that's a good point i really never thought about that and they're just they're like i just have to do this for two hours it's Mm -hmm. just a really focused, that's, that's a good point. I never really thought about that. So beyond the, I can't afford it thing. And I don't know how to hire somebody thing. What are other objections you hear from people when they are worried about hiring a VA for the first time? What you touched on control is oh, not, yeah. not wanting to release it. And just because most business owners, it's their baby, you know, that, that business is their child, literally, you know? So I always tell people, it's just like when you take your child to daycare for the first time, the first couple of weeks, if they have a camera system, you're checking in, you know, every five <laughs> minutes looking. Creating trust. Yes. You yeah. know, then after that, in the mornings, you're like, come on, hurry, you got to get to daycare. See ya. You know, you give a kiss <laughs> and you go. So I always kind of ease the clients into it. Yeah. Um, and I just, I'm honest and very transparent. You just have to build that trust. And then you have us as an extra layer because we've already vetted all of our VA. So we know they're trustworthy. We know they're dedicated. They're not going to leave you high and dry. And if for some reason your VA up and left, we will replace them. You won't go, you know, without your hours that you pay for being, you know, used. Yeah. And then another objection that I see is, and they may not even say it, but I'm learning to listen is not being able to delegate. So it's like, you have so much to do, but it's all just sitting here and you're like, I don't really know what they can do. So I created like multiple documents that literally like spell out, what can my VA do? And you'll be surprised, you know, like all the things that we have listed. And then what I do with people that are like that, that are like, I don't really know what to do. 
I call them pillars and dumpers, right? So clients that are pillars, I need to pair them with a VA that's going to peel the layers off, build that trust, and get those tasks out. We have dumpers who are like, hey, I got everything. I need help with these 20 things. So with them, I pair them with a VA that's more, hey, focus doesn't really, you know, have, you know, doesn't do the extras. It's just, hey, I'm on this list. I'm target, you know, bulls. Yeah. Out. So yeah, that's kind of that. how I sort the two. This is such good things for people to think about because the before you can hire a VA, you have to believe in the possibility that a VA can help you. So it's just mm-hmm. literally believing that this is possible for me, mm-hmm. even at two hours a week or four hours. About like you would, I think for you, the minimum you said is five hours a week, yeah. right? Twenty mm-hmm. hours a week a month. So tell me some of the outcomes once people make this leap and they have your support. Mm-hmm. What results are they getting? Oh, this is my favorite part, Jen. So <laughs> I love, so what we do, like I said, we do a lot of quality assurance. So when you first sign on and you're matched, we actually check in with the client bi-weekly. So it'll be either a text or a phone call or email. We check in with our VAs weekly just to make sure everything is going well. Then at the 30-day mark, we do a video call with someone from our admin team, the client and the VA. This is the chance to talk about anything, any issues, and Every call that I do for the 30 day check in, as long as there's not any issues, you know, sometimes we have issues, they're going to be transparent, but we work it out. Yeah, um, but for the calls that are working, I mean, for the pairs that are working, I love when they say this one line, it's been a weight lifted off my shoulder. Like when they say that, I'm just like, whoo, I get chills because I get excited because I'm like, that's what you signed on for, you know? Yeah. And then I just had a, a 30 day check in last week with a client and I was just so happy because she was very skeptical she had never used a VA before she's not techie so she didn't even like fathom how can this work how can a person in a whole different state really help me in my business Mm -hmm. I told her just trust us give us a chance do do one month you know we don't do one month anymore we do three months or more now but I'm like just do one month and see what happens at that 30-day check-in, she said, Tyrene, I want to sign on for a year because this VA has literally like changed the way I do business. Like the VA actually increased because she was just doing social media marketing. That's what she needed. Mm-hmm. The VA increased her social media following. She increased the engagement. Um, I want to say, don't quote me, but I want to say by almost 45% on, in 30 days. Yeah. So the results, you know, it, yeah. it speaks for itself. You know, when people are creating content, you can have a VA and still maintain your content. You can still maintain control over it. You can still maintain your voice. Like the strategy and the intention can come from you, but that virtual assistant can tactically get you more opens or mm-hmm. understand like the time of day that this email should go exactly. out or schedule things at a time that could be better or do hashtag research for you. All mm-hmm. those like little minute things that you don't want or don't mm-hmm. have time to do or aren't good at. Yes. So I, I want everybody listening to think I could still maintain the integrity of my content mm-hmm. and have a partner to help me make it go further. Exactly. Yes. And prime example, the client I was just telling you about mm-hmm. for social media, she was doing social media on her own and it was going fine. Right. So she still wanted her voice. So what she does at the top of every week when they do their check in, they have like a Google sheet going and then the client will put the captions that she wants for each picture or, you know, whatever the posting is, then the VA just tweaks it. You know, she makes it a little bit more, you know, social media um, savvy. Yeah, there we go. And then yeah. she's already done a research. So she knows the hashtags to use. She already knows what time of day to post, like you said. So you can still do as much as you want. You know, I always tell yeah. clients, you can do as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on how much you want to release. And I get it, you know, especially people like you, you know, like the type of business that you have, you want your own voice. You know, yeah. you want it to come from Jen because you're telling people some amazing things, you know, your VA may not can do that, which is okay. Mm -hmm. So just let her one, another thing too, you can just text it to your VA. It can have grammar issues, spelling issues, let her format it correctly. Let her fix the spelling, let her fix the grammar. And then she posts and that's it. (laughs) I'm laughing because there's so many times, like I'll try to, I'm going to put air quotes around this, like save time for Jessica by doing something Mm -hmm. myself. And I'm sure she must roll her eyes. And Mm -hmm. then 
because she always has to redo it. So like really just let the person you've hired live in their genius zone, yes. right? So yeah, once you have that person, it really can like lift. It. It's interesting. We're talking about lifting a weight. So what you really sell, Tyreen, is um, relief, mm-hmm. time. You sell a lot of intangible stuff, like mm-hmm. um, effectiveness. Mm-hmm. You know, you can breathe again. Yes, productivity, yeah. stress yeah, reduction. Productivity. Yes, yeah. the list goes on. Yes, that is so cool. So what do you think um, if people were like, I'm listening to Tyreen, I know that I want to get in touch with WiseWalk Virtual Solutions. I know that I'm ready to really start having this conversation. How can people learn more about you or get on a call with you? Sure. So they can definitely go to our website, which is www.virtualsolutions.com. Then they can find us on LinkedIn and you can just search WiseWalk Virtual Solutions. We just stopped posting on Facebook and Instagram and we're solely doing LinkedIn because we realized that's really where our target market is. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you do, you can still see us on those social media platforms, but you'll see like our last post says, hey, we're moving to LinkedIn. Um, But yeah, you guys can find us there and then you can click schedule consultation. Consultations are about 45 minutes. And then during that time, We'll just chat. You know, I'll tell you about what we offer. You'll tell me what you need. And I can let you know, honestly, on the spot, if we have a VA right now, that would be a good match for you. Like I said, I'm very transparent. If we don't have one, I'll let you know, hey, I don't have a good match for you right now. We can try this person and then, you know, train them up and go from there or you can wait. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's a really, it's a smooth process. So that's great. One of my favorite things that you just said as a content person is that you decided that LinkedIn, that LinkedIn was your place and Facebook and Instagram were not. So you just decided, cause I always say that to people, where are your platforms, where your people are and feel good for you. And I love that you're just like by Facebook, by Instagram yes. and leaning into LinkedIn. Yes. Love that. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you wanted that we didn't cover? That's important for people to know when thinking about hiring a VA. I just want to thank you, Jen. This has been awesome. Um, I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, But as far as for the audience, um, it's honestly a game changer, guys. And I get, like, like I said in the beginning, I was like thrown into this, but like seeing the joy and the peace that come from the clients, not only the clients, the VAs, like when they're matched with a good client, they feel supported, they feel happy because they're helping someone. So I realized, you know, a few weeks ago that this is a business, it's a service, but I'm also like really changing the way people do business. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, I'm I'm changing our mission statement to that is to, our goal is to really change the way all people do business Mm -hmm. by giving that support. Yeah. One of one of my favorite aspects of your story is that you were thrown into this mm-hmm. and you had to be really creative and you saw, you had a problem yourself, but you also mm-hmm. saw a problem in the marketplace and that's what entrepreneurs do. Yes. So I'm um, just big, huge congratulations on turning mm-hmm. your, turning your medical leave into a business that really, like, yes. it seems like you just have everything under control and it flows really well. So bravo. Great yes. job with your well, system. Don't, I can't take all the credit, Jen, you know, it's, it's well put together, but luckily we have a team, you know, yeah. cause I can't do it all, but I am so grateful that yes, you know, sometimes pain turns into purpose. So yeah. I'm living oh, that's so it. nice. <laughs> Tyreen, thank you so much. And I hope every single listener starts thinking about a VA and goes to WiseWalk Virtual Solutions and checks them out because it is, I, I can attest, it is a complete game changer to have somebody have your back like that. Yes. Thanks, Tyreen. Thank you. See you next week, everybody. Bye.